हॅलो गाईज आय एम डॉक्टर रवींद्र सावरकर अँड आय वेलकम यू बॅक टू मिड स्कूल टॉपिक फॉर दिस व्हिडिओ इज व्हेंट्रिक्युलर प्रीमॅच्युअर कॉम्प्लेक्स व्ही पी सी इज व्हेरी कॉमन ॲबनॉर्मॅलिटी विच वन कॅन कम अक्रॉस इन क्लिनिकल प्रॅक्टिस इट इज व्हेरी इम्पॉर्टंट टू नो विच व्ही पी सीज टू इग्नोर अँड विच टू ट्रीट आय होप दिस कन्फ्युजन विल बी रिझॉल्व्ह आफ्टर वॉचिंग दिस व्हिडिओ व्हेंट्रिक्युलर प्रीमॅच्युअर कॉम्प्लेक्स इज अन ई सी जी कॉम्प्लेक्स फॉर्म बाय प्रीमॅच्युअर इम्पल्स जनरेटेड फ्रॉम व्हेंट्रिक्युलर एक्टॉपिक फोकस इट इज प्रीमॅच्युअर ॲज इट इज रेकॉर्डेड अर्लियर दॅन नेक्स्ट अँटिसिपेटेड सायनस बीट इट इज जनरेटेड फ्रॉम व्हेंट्रिक्युलर एक्टॉपिक फोकस हिन्स इम्पल्स इज नॉट कंडक्टेड थ्रू नॉर्मल कंडक्शन पाथवे हिन्स क्यू आर एस कॉम्प्लेक्स इज बिझार दॅट इज वाईट नॉस्ट ऑर स्लर्ड In case of ventricular premature complex coupling interval is an interval between VPC and preceding sinus beat it is constant in most cases of VPCs except when underlying mechanism is automaticity compensatory pause is an interval between VPC and following sinus beat in VPCs compensatory pause is complete that is coupling interval plus compensatory pause is equal to two times rr interval that means compensatory pause completely offsets the prematurity of vpc to understand the relation of vpc to p wave let's consider three possible scenarios when ventricular impulse is generated before sinus impulse p wave will follow vpc when ventricular impulse is generated simultaneously with sinus impulse p wave will be embedded within qrs complex and not seen separately when ventricular impulse is generated after sinus impulse but early enough to depolarize ventricles before sinus impulse then p wave will precede vpc pr interval will be very short in this case <laughs> There is discordant displacement of ST segment and T wave in cases of VPCs. That means when complex is positive there will be concave upward ST depression with inverted T wave and when complex is negative then there will be convex upward ST elevation with upright T wave. This ECG shows white slurred complex occurring prematurely. indicated by short coupling interval addition of coupling interval and compensatory pause is eight large boxes which is equal to two times rr interval which is four large boxes here hence compensatory pause is complete p wave is embedded within vpc as it cannot be seen separately there is st segment depression and t wave inversion with positive vpc and st segment elevation with upright t wave with negative vpc when vpc occurs with very short coupling interval and vpc is superimposed on apex or descending limb of preceding t wave then it is called as r on t phenomenon this invariably occurs in patient with acute myocardial infarction where refractory period of injured myocardium is significantly reduced These patients are prone to develop ventricular fibrillation. When VPC occurs after every sinus beat, then it is called as bigemini. That means every alternate beat is VPC as in this ECG. When VPC occurs after every two sinus beats, that is every third beat is VPC, then it is called as trigemini. VPCs are usually asymptomatic but when they are frequent patient may complain of palpitation lightheadedness syncope atypical chest pain and fatigue causes of VPCs can be remembered with the mnemonic VPC disease this can be remembered with VPC where V stands for valvular heart disease P stands for perfusion defect in heart that is acute myocardial infarction C stands for cardiomyopathies cardiac contusion cardiitis etc 
नॉन कार्डियक कॉजेस कैन बी रिमेम्बर्ड विद द निमोनिक डिजीज वेर डी स्टैंड फॉर ड्रग्स लाइक डिगोक्सिन ट्राइसाइक्लिक एंटीडिप्रेसेंट एमिनोफाइलिन एटसेट्रा आई स्टैंड फॉर इन्फेक्शंस एस स्टैंड फॉर स्ट्रेस ई स्टैंड फॉर इलेक्ट्रोलाइट डिस्टर्बेंसेस लाइक हाइपोकेलेमिया हाइपोमैग्नेशियमिया हाइपर कैल्शियमिया एटसेट्रा ए स्टैंड फॉर एनेस्थेटिक्स एस स्टैंड फॉर सर्जरी एंड ई स्टैंड फॉर इलिसिड ड्रग यूज लाइक कोकेन एम्पेटामाइन एटसेट्रा मेकैनिजम ऑफ वीपीसी डेवलपमेंट कैन बी ऑफ थ्री टाइप्स इन ऑटोमेटिसिटी देर इज डेवलपमेंट ऑफ न्यू साइट ऑफ डिपोलराइजेशन इन वेंट्रिकुलर टिश्यू इंक्रीज ऑटोमेटिसिटी कूड बी ड्यू टू इलेक्ट्रोलाइट एबनॉर्मिलिटीज और इस्किमिक मायोकार्डियम री एंट्री टिपिकली ऑकर्स वेन स्लो कंडक्टिंग टिश्यू दैट इज इन्फॉक्टेड मायोकार्डियम इज प्रेजेंट एडजेसन टू नॉर्मल टिश्यू The slow conducting tissue could be due to damaged myocardium, as in case of heel damage. In cases of triggered activity, after depolarization triggered by preceding impulse can lead to premature activation if the threshold is reached, and this can cause VPC. This mechanism can occur in bradycardia, ischemia, and electrolyte abnormalities. In workup for VPCs, Holter monitoring is done preferably for 48 hours to assess VPC burden. 2D echocardiography is done to look for structural heart disease. Cardiac biomarker levels are checked to rule out acute myocardial infarction. Coronary angiography is done to rule out coronary artery disease. Serum electrolytes levels are checked to rule out hypokalemia, hypomagnesemia. hypercalcemia etc if there are vpcs on ecg first non cardiac cause should be looked for and treated if found next line of action depends on presence or absence of symptoms if patient is symptomatic patient should be educated regarding their illness underlying causes like valvular heart disease electrolyte imbalance coronary artery disease should be treated accordingly aggregating factors like stress caffeinated drinks should be avoided antiarrhythmic can be used if no relief with all the above treatment anxiolytic should be added if no relief with antiarrhythmic drugs if patient is not willing for lifelong pharmacological therapy and vpcs are monomorphic and there is high risk for arrhythmia then ablation therapy can be considered If patient is non-symptomatic, presence or absence of structural heart disease dictates further course of action. If structural heart disease is present, patient should be treated same as symptomatic patient. In addition, risk of arrhythmia should be assessed with Holter data and other prognostic sign. If risk of arrhythmia is high, implanted cardioverter defibrillator should be considered. If risk of arrhythmia is low underlying disease should be treated accordingly If there is no underlying structural heart disease in asymptomatic patient then no treatment is needed reassurance and regular follow up will suffice Pharmacological treatment of VPC is done in step wise manner In step 1 beta blockers or non dihydropyridine calcium channel blockers like verapamil or diltiazem are used if there is no relief then in step 2 class 1c antiarrhythmic drugs like flecainide or propafenone are used if still there is no relief then in step 3 class 3 antiarrhythmic like amiodarone or sotalol are used it is important to remember that aim of the treatment is not to suppress vpcs but to relieve symptoms Prognosis of VPC depends on VPC frequency. Higher the frequency, poorer the prognosis. Prognosis is poor in presence of underlying structural heart disease. Multimorphic VPCs connotes poorer prognosis than uniform morphologic VPCs. Male gender have poorer prognosis than females. <laughs>
Thank you for watching this video till the end. If you have any query or suggestion, please write it down in comment section. If you like my work, please like this video and share it with your friends. To get notified about next video upload, please subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon. Till next video, take care and keep learning.